Titan, you learn. Oh, f yeah. Alright, this is the first episode of I, Tanya Learns Redstone. She is blinging it out with the diamond armor. And she knows bugger all. So first off, I'm going to teach her about all of the redstone blocks. Hi guys! As you guys can see from what I'm putting in my inventory, we're starting super 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 simple so, what so do she you have? might actually get it redstone okay so uh -huh. first off the most simple thing about a circuit is that you have the power source which is the redstone torch often a redstone torch okay you have the wire mm -hmm. and you have whatever's being powered so in this case I'm using a door. But then how do you open the door? The door is open when the, power, when the uh, circuit is powered. Take it away. Yeah, wait, wait for it, wait for it. There we go, the door is closed. Power the circuit, door open. She gets it. Okay, other power sources. Levers. Levers in the bottom. Ah. Alright, you see that? Oh, sorry. Yes, do that again. It's just a second you can turn it on and off. Another type is a button. So, if I go two up and put a button here. So, do you have to go two up? Oh, yeah, because I can't press one here because there's redstone in the way. Um, cool. Okay. Press the button, power the circuit, the door opens. It only stays pressed for a little while. Okay, okay. so you can. Put a button on the ground, no. Oh, okay, so it has to be above ground. It can't jump a, j a block like that, mm -hmm. but it can power one to the side. Do you see that? Um, come again. Powering to the side. So it powers every block around the button. Okay? it's connected to the button. Okay. Another type of power source. Pressure plates. So there's a wooden pressure plate there and it is at the moment pressed because there is a button on top of it. Wooden pressure plates can be triggered by uh, by chucking things on top of them. So I'm going to chuck a bit of redstone on top and it'll pressure it. Can't do that with stone ones. Oh. So See? Okay, so wooden pressure pretty much anything that you throw is at it. that in an adventure map we ran once, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, those are the basic power sources. The other thing about it, pressure plates mm -hmm. can power down through here. See, look. that really 
redstone torches can do is they can be turned off by having power coming to them through a block. And this is what you wanted to learn today, the logic gates. Okay? So it's just the repeater, right? Using the yeah. repeaters and stuff? Yeah. Some of them use repeaters, but there's just a logic gate. Okay, I have no okay? idea what... So look. Oh, I have no idea what a logic gate is. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. Alright. So, I have a power source. Mm -hmm. The redstone torch. I have redstone wire going to a block. Yep. On the other side of that block, I have a redstone torch, which has been turned off by the power. Okay? By the power? Mm-hmm. If a redstone torch is placed on a powered block, like this block is right now, uh -huh. then it will be turned off. This is a handy way of getting power up high. You can um, place a redstone torch on top of block, on top of redstone torch, on top of block like so. Okay, I am confused. So if the bottom torch is off, then, so is it acting like a... So this redstone torch, uh -huh. when it is, when this redstone torch is on, the bottom one here, it powers the block above it. Uh, okay. And when that block is powered, the one, the redstone torch uh, okay. placed on that block is off all the way up. So if I take out this power source, yep. they all change. Okay, so this one's now powering in. Okay. Yep. okay. So far, so good. So that's not good. It inverts the signal. And when will I actually use these sort of things? Well, if you want to have one thing doing... So if I have... Let's get a lever. Mm -hmm. I have a lever. Yes. I press the lever. I want it simultaneously to open this door and close this one. So at the moment, both doors are in the closed position. Okay? Mm -hmm. They are both opened when I do that. Mm -hmm. But if I want it to close one door and open another, I put a knot gate here. So it reverses the... Um. So, now, it will, when, now uh, I press the lever, that door is closed and that door is open. And just to make it a bit simpler, let's make them have the same closed position. So, basically it just reverses the circuit? Yep, inverts the signal. Now that is the most simple of the logic gates. Now the logic gate you want to learn about, the XOR gate, is a bit more difficult. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it goes. Okay. So. There are a couple of ways of doing an XOR gate. This is the one you know though. So. Build this like this. You can you do any block you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the input comes from input as in power source. Yep. So it can be a lever or a button or any other yeah. type of power source, and it goes there. All right. Mm -hmm. Now. There are redstone torches all over the place. Here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, why do they have to, have, have to be there as in verse? Hang on, let me just place this because this is one bit. So these ones, mm -hmm. so obviously when I flip this lever, those two redstone torches are going to go out. Right? Because they're placed on a powered block. Ah, lever. There we go. See? Mm -hmm. But this redstone um, is still lit up because it's got these two powering it. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. So now well, we've got... So when I turn this off, uh, 
So basically means the leader has stopped powering the torches, right? Mm-hmm. And so when I turn it on, it's giving power to the tor torches. Yeah, it powers the block that the torches are sitting on. Mm -hmm. Alright, and all of that serves to keep this torch at the end turned off. Okay, but then I thought I thought power I thought torches connect as um, so they connect both as power source and so like transmitters as well. Like transferring power and stuff. Um what? What do you mean by that? So I mean they can they can act as like power source but when you connect it to another power source, which is the lever here, then it will just become a a transmitting device for the power um, source. Kind of. It's um, redstone torches act as a power source and as an inverter. Mm -hmm. Is basically it. They also can be used to extend the signal like a repeater, mm -hmm. which I'll teach you about in just a second. Yeah, because I'm not... Oh, maybe we should split this into two parts. Cause yeah, it'll be split into two parts, don't yeah. worry. Okay, so, now... Only a little bit today. <laughs> when this uh, lever is hit, it turns off the block that these two... Uh, well, it turns on the block that these two torches are sitting on, which turns off the torches which uh, lets this torch turn on, right? This. This one at the end here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that means that this output wire will go to the door and the door will open. Okay, so let me get it. So these two are, yeah, these two are off, mm -hmm. which means this one will be on. That one will be on when these two are off, yes. Okay. Okay. So, and that turns on the door. Now, uh, if I flick it back, obviously it's going to go back to its earlier yep. state and the door will be closed because this block will be unpowered, these two torches will be on. Which means the one behind will be off. This torch here will be off, which means there's nothing feeding power into that circuit there. But if I then hit this one, then that turns off these two torches, which turns off this, which means that that torch is on. And it also means that both of these um, wires are on, turning off both these torches, closing the door. Ah. Do you get it? Yeah, but then, I mean, I get, I get it now, but I would have never thought of this whole thing by myself. Yeah, it's horribly logical. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this works for uh, iron and wooden doors, although uh, iron doors can only be opened by power. Oh. Also works for trap doors and gates. Oh, cool. Okay. Now that you've got XOR gates under your belt, don't learn any more about logic gates. Uh, this would be here for now. Okay, do you want to learn about repeaters? Um, weird. Alright. Quick listen about repeaters. Very, very good. Yep. <laughs> okay. Repeaters extend the signal. So, here we go. If we go along like this. Derping along, da 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 da. Do these ever get too long? Because I have always hear you mentioning about like yep. circuit burning out and stuff, so. See, look, mm -hmm. up until that point, the 14th redstone chunk, mm -hmm. it's all powered, but after that, it's not powered anymore. That's because the power source can only power for 14 chunks before it needs to be renewed. Mm -hmm. Refresh, uh, repeaters can do that, they repeat the signal. So if I put a repeater here with power coming in from behind, we get another 14 blocks worth of wire. 
they also slow down the signal. So if I put a bunch of them in a row, like this, this will slow it down by 8 ticks, this by 12, this by 16. Okay, so why do you need to slow the slow it down? Normally so it doesn't get in the way of more circuitry. I've been using that on my clock. So if I turn this off, it takes 16 ticks for it all to get to there. Okay? Get it? That's what they used for. Uh, I, they still also don't, I still don't get why you need to change the ticking and stuff. Well, if you want it to go off at a certain time, or if you want, um... Uh, say you wanted to step on a chunk, uh -huh. uh, like a pressure plate. Yeah, like what we did with a spaceship. Kind of. Step on the pressure plate, and then you want the door to open a bit later. Uh, so you've got time to get to the door. Okay, well then why can't you just... Then can you just um, make the door close slower by just only using one? You can use just one. Um, each tick is worth one-tenth of a second, so at the moment I'm slowing it down by 1.6 seconds. Oh, this logic is way beyond me. It is quite difficult. Sorry. Uh, the other thing they used for is direction. Direction? So you see, if I go like this, mm -hmm. then I can place... Let's use a sticky piston. I can place a sticky piston. Mm. Move. At each of these. And it will work. directional is what I'm getting at. So they only work when power comes in from behind and goes out from in front. So uh -huh. if I tried powering the same amount of pistons mm -hmm. with just redstone wire, you see it all joins up. Mm -hmm. And once it's joined up, it's not going to the piston. Uh -huh, which I means see. the piston doesn't fire. But with redstone yeah. repeaters, they all fire. Does it does it matter if you change the ticks for these, um, for yeah, the... I would just slow it down, so I could actually... Oh. Um... So four ticks per... Yep. Oh. Yeah, a bit more sense. There we go. Okay? Yeah. And that is the end of the first episode <sighs> of Itania Learns Redstone. Thanks for watching.